Hey guys, it's Rena from Simply Actions. Uh, I just want to apologize for the background noise. I have my air conditioner on. It's very hot right now, so sorry. Um, but I did want to show, I realized um, after I received an email from someone yesterday that I actually have never done an, a video just about um, how to um, install your actions or your presets. So I just thought I'd do a quick little um, tutorial on that just so that you have it and it's something that I can easily reference to for anybody who has questions about it. Um, so, uh, let's say you got the free love from Simply Actions. Um, uh, this is a free action and a free preset, just so that you can kind of get your, dip your toes in, that sort of thing. So, I'm hoping that uh, I'll be including the link to download these, um, these two things uh, in the description of this video. So, I'm super excited for you guys to have this and to play. But in order to play, you need to be able to install it. So let me show you how. Um, so first things first, um, you're going to have your, um, your, your download that will come through. So now if you have a Mac, most Macs, especially the up-to-date or more up-to-date ones, will just unzip your folder for you. If it doesn't, uh, I suggest using Zipeg, uh, Z-I-P-E-G, um, to unzip your um Folder so that you can access the stuff. Now for Windows, um, I would suggest WinZip, so W-I-N-Z-I-P, uh, to, uh, to, and these are both free downloads, so if they're asking you for money, it's a fake one, so please don't use them. Um, so that's how you would be able to unzip your folder, and then when you open it, this is what it looks like. I have written description in here on how to install um, your presets, as well as here is um, kind of a more backdoor way of um, installing them for Windows. Um, so that's being that that's been kind of covered, I'm going to show you how to do it here in a Mac. So for starts, let's like start with the, um, the action. The easiest way, um, especially with Photoshop CC, is just to double click on the actions um, symbol and you'll see that there it is. It's right there. So that's awesome. And uh, super easy. The other, um, sorry, let me just close this. The other way would be to, now this is your actions panel. So if you don't have it, make sure you go down in window and click on actions and make sure there's a check mark there. And then you should have an actions panel. This is how I prefer to lay out my panels. Just a little um, extra FYI. So you can do that easily just by dragging it. When you see that blue square, that means it's going to put it there. So I like to put the actions on their own up here. But if I want to put my history up there, I can just do that and it'll be a separate tab. But I like my history down here. So that's how I move it around. Super easy to move around. Um, so now you're in your actions panel. You go and you do a um, drop down menu. And then you just go to load actions. You click on that. And then you have to go to your downloads. And I have a lot of downloads because I have a lot of photos that um, my testers send me, which is so sweet. So it's hard for me to find it, but I will. Where is it? There it is. I double click on that. So hopefully your downloads are not like that. Um, might be easier if you just take your, um, your folder from your uh, downloads folder and put it onto your desktop. Then it's super easier, much more easier to find. So then once you've done that, you'll see that everything is kind of grayed out. The only thing you can click on is this actions, um, the ATN file. So you click on that, you click open, and there it is. So now in order to be able to play it, you have the, just so that you know, this is a folder. So if you click this, there's no way to play it. You have to click this little arrow down, go to the action, and then press play. And then it'll play on your um, picture. So now for um, installing the um, ACR presets, what you need to do now is you go, you click on your finder window, you click to go, and you're supposed to look for your library, but Mac set tends to hide it. Um, so what you'll need to do is actually click your alt or your option key, and there it pops right up. So you click on that, and you go into application support, Adobe, I've done this so many times, camera raw, and then settings. Once you've got them in settings, all you have to do is just um, find your 
I use the same one. Normally I open up a second window when I'm looking for that, sorry. Let me do this, find that free love real quick. I think it was right there. There it is, okay. So now, what I suggest, because you kind of want to keep this um, folder safe, because I mean, uh, I've had it before where I will quit out of my Photoshop and then I'll open it up and my actions have disappeared. So I always want to make sure that I keep my actions and the same thing can happen for my presets. So I want to make sure I keep my actions and my presets in um, a safe place. So what I normally do is I have like an action slash presets folder in my external hard drive that I put just all of my action folders in and everything like that. So then I don't have to worry about them. If I lose them, I know they're there. So there have been times where I've forgotten and then I've lost them and then it sucks. So <laughs> I highly recommend that you um, back up your stuff. So um, the preset is actually this XMP file. So you're going to click on it. You're going to right click, go copy, right click here, go paste. And it says it's already there because so it wouldn't say that. This is just because I already have it installed. So I would say, let's say, keep both. <laughs> now I'll have two. And then um, it's in there. Like if I can find it, there it is. See, one, two. So it's um, it's really fun uh, to play with these. Um, there are lots and lots of fun. So I really hope that you have a good time. Let me do a real quick. Um, let's see if I can do real quick at it for you guys. I wasn't planning on it, so just bear with me here. I just had a really good session. Here, let's look at mm, Let's do this guy. I, I just love this session. This kid's so cute. And he would only sit if we gave him cracker, crackers, but I said, that's fine. Whatever I... I can work with. I'll just, or I'm just, <laughs> I'll just edit it out. The power of Photoshop. So um, here is the um, free love preset, and so it plays pretty cool. But if you brighten it up, and then you can warm it up a little bit as well. And another way to make sure it's good is I know that that hat is white. So there, that's a pretty good skin tone. I might bring it down just a little bit. But that's, that's the um, preset. It's so much fun. It's definitely, and, and like with all my presets, I always say to um, be prepared that you probably will need to change your exposure and your temperature because not everybody shoots um, the same way. So some people shoot dark like me, and some people shoot cold, some people shoot warm. So and when you play the preset, it might not look really pretty at the beginning. So uh, make sure that before you judge the preset that you have um, your photo at the proper exposure and the proper white balance and then judge the preset because then you'll be able to see if you actually like it for the photo. Um, so that means that when you buy the presets you might need to play with them for a little bit just to get to know what they do. Um, but then once you kind of know what, what they're for you're gonna you're gonna just be speeding up your workflow like crazy so it's awesome. All right so I'm gonna press open image. And then I'm going to, here, real quick, we'll see what we can do about taking this little cracker bit away. See if that'll work. Oh, that's not bad. Especially for wanting to be um, quick. Let's get these little crumbs and stuff off his chin. And that little there. And I think that's pretty much. All I really need to remove. Oh, there might be a little bit on his finger there. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, so now let's play the love action. So press play, and there you go. I really like this. And this is playing at 100%. Um, so, I mean, you can even double it if you wanted it to be stronger. Um, that's even stronger, and then you can bring it down a little bit. But... I liked it at 100%. Just the one. I really like that. Um, so there you go. So that's how you would play the um, the free actions that are in this uh, the description box below for you to be able to download and how to install them as well. So I hope that you guys have fun playing with these. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at simplyactions at gmail.com 
or join our VIP group. I'll include a link to that in the description as well. Um, I'm definitely very active in that group, so you'll be able to ask questions and I will be able to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, thanks guys, and you have a great day.